real people. Big here, Five Tech Unlimited. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually going to be doing a double mag holder on the HD Industrial Design. Um, this is a forming jig. It's generally designed for like outside the waistband holsters, but uh, the only way I use this is uh, on magazines, and I'll show you how I do it. And I think it's it's perfect every time. A lot of companies, a lot of molds, um, they make holsters where the magazines are like this and then off your body. So the way I do it using this jig is the magazines are now like this and uh, it curves around you and it just sits so much better. So we're gonna be doing this. This is a HK45. So it doesn't fit any of my molds. So I am going to be using the actual magazines. So snap caps or you can use live rounds. I don't recommend it. They'll, they won't go off, but I just better say it than sorry. So snap caps. Okay, now this gentleman wants, uh, let's see here, double mag forward, so it's going to be on the left side because he's a right-handed shooter, so it will be like this, so on it, cut a couple pieces where they're just a little bit, there we go, yeah, perfect, so now i got to find the other one. So I cut multiples of the same size, so I don't have to keep looking for them, but apparently that doesn't work. Not a work. Oh, that's perfect. I'm going to go that way. Okay. So, in all technicality, these don't have to be the same. Uh, but where they're going to be positioned, you want to make sure they're positioned at the same spot because you're going to be cutting it. And what that allows is a little bit more of a lip so you can find the holster and throw it back in there. So this we don't need right now. We're going to put this aside. It's actually going to put down on our press and we're going to go ahead and get this together. So if you notice, I have a piece of MDF here, quarter inch, and it's cut as a rectangle. Um, it is roughly, let's see here, it's an inch and a half by almost three inches so yeah it could be any length you want so but I like the inch and a half it gives uh, it makes good holsters for me and then pretty much what you're gonna do is this is gonna go in between and then you're gonna have two adjustable retention points one retention point for each magazine and it really helps out and it gives the user more adjustability on their holster and in the end they like it at least that's my experience so that way so you don't have to um, load these up with tape. I normally don't. So what I'll do is I'll figure out where I want to mount this. So I'll, I'm actually going to put this all the way up to the top because that seems like a pretty good spot. And if you're doing a magazine that has holes in it, like this one, this is for a 220. Uh, we're going to be doing, um, I'll be doing a video on this one after. So it's a SIG 220 with the MX-6. Massive, massive light. And this is the 220 magazine, so we're going to do a double mag holder for this. But this is going to be a chest rig. So I am going to film that, uh, building that. I've never done this light before, and this thing is absolutely massive. And the only thing that's kind of crappy is the retention point is going to have to be down here because this has to be blocked off and it's going to cover the whole thing. So... Uh, you'll watch me figure that out. Anyways, back to this. You want these magazines to be absolutely level. So what I normally do is I line it up with the line, but I'll stand it up. I'm actually squeezing the mags together to hold this in place. You don't want to go too. 
too hard because that will happen. And then we'll do it again on this side. So that is going to be the retention plate. Now we know, like I said earlier, this is going to be a left hand bolt facing forward. So it's going to be this side if you're carrying it on your left side. So I'll put this all the way at the top. So our retention points will be here. And then, so we'll put this a little bit down more. It will cut it around here. Sweat shield to about there. So right there is perfect for me. And this you just want to put it in place. Doesn't need to be massive. And then just line it up. Like so. All right, so now this is literally ready. There's nothing else we need to do. So uh, I know this is going to be, uh, I'm just going to do these ones black. The other ones he requested are going to be red and black carbon fiber. So if you notice, there's not a lot of room here. So they're going to come up and you're going to be very tight. So you could do it this way if you want to. You get more or just cut a couple, a couple uh, large strips. So that's what I'm going to do. So I will cut those and I'll be right back. All right, wow, that's pretty good for eyeballing it. All right, so I got my two pieces of Kydex together. These are one foot wide and they're about eight inches tall. So that's what I want because the curve makes it that you need extra material. So. crap off of them. Now this one you're going to need three things of foam and I'll show you why. And again, this is all set. These should be good. I'm going to throw one more piece in the back, kind of like a backbone. And heat up the decks. But once it gets to uh, 350, 360, we're going to take it out and I'm going to show you exactly how I use that and the results we're going to get. So, see you in a couple minutes. All right, so we're at 348 degrees, so we're almost there. I have a piece of foam that I set aside because, we, like I said, we want three pieces. So, we're going to show you exactly how I do this and how you're going to kick butt. So, HD design, foam press. First piece of foam. Magazines, line it up with your jig. A little rem oil. Second piece. Hot foam over. And then put that in. I didn't think of yeah. I gotta go higher. There we go. And go ahead and crank that bad boy down. All right. So we're gonna check that in eight minutes. Are you ready? You're not ready. I'm not ready. I'm just kidding, I'm ready. It's been a long day. So again, two foams on top like this, over that. There's one, pause for dramatic effect, and there's two.
Bam. All right. Still a little soft, so I'm just going to let it cool. And then I'll show you what I do next. Right. So, um, he wants 1.5 loops, so... All right. So this is how... I do this. This looks pretty good. I approve. So these are going to go sit right about here. But what we need to figure out first is where our top is going to be. So should be good right there. So that is straight across. All right. Looks a little funky. All right, so we know retention point. Retention point is literally going to be, that's going to be lined up. So, right there, right there. This is going to be right here. Draw that. Okay, and then what I do is I extend it all the way down. Figure out the point here where you want to go, which is going to be just below the mags. You want to get in the habit of doing everything the same way too. So um, if you notice, the lines of the magazines give you like the perfect geometry that you need. So if you come straight down here, and then you go this way right right there to right there is where we're going to put the bend so boom boom and then same thing here that matches that matches so bam 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 and then here you can do what you want uh i generally do two of these so like I line that up and then I'll do one here one here and then I'll put one right in the center for kind of like the trifecta look so go ahead I'm probably I don't know if I can get clamps on that yep just barely for uh, uh where are my other clamps bigger clamps these are uh home depot specials they're like a buck i love them quarter inch holes Move that one over slightly because I noticed that was going in. So we're going to redraw that line a little bit better. So be good in the long run. All right, so now you go ahead and break it up. 
apart. Don't need those anymore. And it looks like that's stuck inside. Yep. So generally, if it's stuck inside, just give it a nice tap with the end of the screwdriver, and uh, comes out. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out the rough edge, but this I'm going to be going like that, so there's a little bit of a uh, sweat shield. So come up that way, and then go down. So I'll cut it, and I'll be right back. If you haven't noticed, I went ahead and cut it, cleaned it, and I did the rivets. So again, three down the sides, and bam, right there. So the next step would be take your mags, like so I'm gonna place them in. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, my area and we're going to bend the tabs for the clips and then uh, we're going to drill these last and, and then we're going to put it together and she'll be done. So let's move over to there and uh, I'll show you how I do this particular step. All right, so mags in, okay, put the retention plate in that we had, lock that in place. Go ahead and set this up like you would bend any normal holster. If you don't have a, uh, a strip heater, mount the wing in a vise and use a heat gun that has this attachment, you'll be fine every single time. So, obviously, you can see that this has a nice curve to it already, thanks to the HD Design jig. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to heat up the ears and we're not going to bend them like a crazy amount we're just going to bend them enough so that there's a little bit more uh, form to them. I want to heat up both sides and if you watch I aim right at the jaw and you keep moving so you don't burn the kydex. And there it goes. We'll hold it there until it cools. So that's exactly where I want it. By the time this cools, this side will be done. Make sure the ears are bent in the same. Okay, right, and just let it cool. All right, so we bent the ears. Take both mags out. You can see that looks pretty good. You can see the curve. Yeah, I like it. I love it. All right, so I um, already went ahead. Like I said, I cleaned it, but it does. I did miss a spot, so where all my pencil marking was, so I could show you where to do it. Again, a little rem oil. Okay, so now we're going to do the retention points. Uh, let's see here. Those. Those. Two of those. I went ahead and uh, already modified my belt loops. And again, I am going to be providing my own style. Uh, I'm not going to release dimensions or anything like that because people will steal it. So, I will get that going, and then once it's ready, you'll know. So, I had all this hardware. Alright. One, two, three, four. Two, one, two, one, two. Okay, cool. So now, uh, retention. 
So as long as it's underneath here, that's fine. So we're gonna take this plate, and you can line it up, and you can do whatever we want, but we're gonna stick it. Right there. So we're gonna clamp it. With that guy. And two is always better. So go ahead and drill that. And that is with the 730 seconds bit. I'm not going crazy. There we go. Okay. Spread these guys apart. Quarter inch nut. And then whatever you want for for the bolt that coincides with it. This isn't what I normally use for all my retention. tighter on the right one. So that's why I like perfect individual retention on each one. Um, I did forget Loctite, so I'll go get that. I hope you guys, uh, Jesus, that scared me. Enjoy my build. That is my 80 gallon snap-on compressor turning on. If you guys have any uh, requests for anything, put in a comment shoot me an email. I'll be happy to do one once the uh, job comes up. So there we have it, dual mag carrier on the HD jig that's curved with my own special belt loops. And yeah, so you can actually see, so if we take this, right, fits pretty good. And if you, follows your curve of your body wherever you put it. So that's fantastic. So again, thanks for watching. This is the double mag holder using the HD Industrial Design. You can see their website right there, hdindustrialdesign.com. You can get this jig there. I think it was like 30 bucks. Uh, it's a world of wonders for curved mag pouches instead of the lousy flat ones that everybody else makes. All right. Happy bending.